Hey, how y'all doing? Well, I want to talk to you all because as you all know, I have been on a big venture for quite some time. You know, I um actually bought the temple and began to establish the temple of the crossroads, not realizing, you understand, exactly you know, <laughs> that, you know, I was going to be getting into um, something that will take me into some places I've never gone before. I mean, and it's really been uh, quite an experience. Um, it's been um, It's been a huge responsibility for myself. Um, I don't think I was prepared for what was coming to me. Uh, when I got the temple, you know, Spirit picked the name out. Spirit did quite a few things. But it was like just just it was just like this just came at me so fast, you know, and having a temple and not growing up, you understand, with parents and family. Who had a temple. It's not like. I um. No temples. You know. By the by the back of my hand. You know like. You know like I've grown up in this. You know. So I know what to do. You know my dad was a. It's not like my dad was a. Father of a temple. Or my mom was not a mother of a temple. I mean. To tell you the truth. This is like pioneer work and uh and there are a a handful of people you understand they do not understand that this is pioneer work okay um and you know some of the people who do not want to see you in this position maybe perhaps because they desire for themselves or they would rather see someone else with it other than myself you know have uh gone on into a uh rage you understand and maybe i'm making a big deal out of this right here whatever uh because of you know and um have decided, you understand, because of whatever reason they've decided to try and make it seem as if though, you know, I am not qualified or, you know, being super critical of the fact that I am not who would, they would like to see have it. Uh, basically, like to say, I don't have the qualifications to have it. And so they have uh, denounced me from having it and uh, have actually cursed my plans to go further with the Temple of the Crossroads because everybody, I mean, it, 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 they have their own individual reasons why. And um, it's been very difficult for me to set my boundaries uh, up against these individuals. Um, and it's been, it's because I myself being an empath have a difficult time, you know, turning people down. Because I like to see people happy. And this is going to be something that I have to work on uh, because it comes with the territory. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm in a position where I am I am holding a position of authority and I've never had a position of authority as such on a physical level as this and not not even on a spiritual level as this and these individuals have these individuals that do not want me to be in this position of authority have gotten on the phone with each other to try and find a way to make me look like I'm unqualified, um, unskilled, uncouth, undeserving. Uh, try to make me seem as if though maybe I'm some type of criminal convict mobster or something of some nature a fraudulent person that has scammed banked corporations of some kind like I have a serious criminal record like I'm a convict uh, being very critical of every single thing I do as I try to help people. And I've been helping people for these 12 years here on social media, but they have, even though they've been watching and partaking in it, they have tried to find a way to make it seem as if though my caring heart to help people which they know that's what it is, is a caring heart. So what they're trying to do is they know I care about people. So they knew that if I did not care about people, that they wouldn't have to go on a smear campaign to make it seem as if though I don't. Because most people that genuinely do not care about people, they ain't really putting themselves out here on social media to do anything. They're not purchasing uh, temples to invite people in. Because most people who purchase temples are purchasing temples so that they can rescue people. But they have to make it seem as though my purpose of rescuing people is to collect souls and collect bodies for my demons and my spirits and that I want to eat the souls of children so I can feed my demons. Demons that I have that give me what? I'm not sure. I mean, what I'd like to know Is what is it that I have that demons have given me that I need to 
furnish souls to the demon. I mean, like, what what do I have? What have my demons given me? I mean, everything I have is average. It's just average stuff. Don't tell me the demon gives you a husband. That's ridiculous. There are a lot of people with husbands. That's not a big deal. The demon has given you three properties. That's ridiculous. There are lots of people with far more properties than what I have. I really don't have anything. So, what is it that my demons have given me that is so significant they need me to recruit a, recruit a bunch of souls for them to eat on. I mean, I'm 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 really interested in this, and and this is what I've heard from an individual. They got a a bunch of information from hearsay. So, I'm seeing something that as I try to find the right people. that I'm comfortable with because that's important if I don't feel comfortable with an individual assisting me with this new endeavor something I've never done before in my life something I really want work to work hard To accomplish, you know, because I I know I am the first mother with a temple a hoodoo temple at that in Alabama. I I mean matter of fact, probably in the whole southeast. I mean, I know I'm the first and and I'm researching and I'm I'm working with spirit and, and individuals that I feel comfortable with. Lot I get lots of ideas and I'm I'm working hard to try and make this a place that people can come to. And have a sense of belonging and, and, and a sense of, of family. A sense of community. A support system. I'm working hard. There's a lot of people who feel as if though I'm not qualified. Who wish that I could go away and let them run it. But this is not the way spirit wants it. Spirit wants me to be in charge of this. So what I'm saying is this. As I continue to do the work. For the Temple of the Crossroads. Getting all the legal documents in. Get trying to you know. Filling out the question. I've got the questionnaire filled in for. And they, they've sent it back. And I had this. It was a very difficult process for me. I spent all day working on it. Um, You know. It had to be put in a uh, word document. And uh, it, it was just some crazy stuff. My God. I've never done that. And send the red word document back to them. You know. Been, it's been coming back and forth. And. And it's costing this, y'all don't, they don't, people who don't want me to run it, but want to prefer to run it themselves do not realize 
how much money this has cost me. And I really went out on a limb with my money, not Willie's money, because it was said that, you know, this is my husband's money. He felt sorry for me. That's no reason for him to feel sorry for me because he know he has a pretty strong, I'm a strong black woman. You know, you know, a lot of people say, well, why we got to be strong black women? We have to be strong black women because this is the way it was in ancient times. We actually were the warriors, the women, we were the warriors, you understand, for our men. And we've always took, taken care of our men. We're in a society, though, where, you know, they tell us the man is the head of the household and all of that. But in, in all honesty, women have always, we've always nurtured our men you know we i'm willie's mother you know what i'm saying i'm both willie's mother my son's mother and my husband you know when women need to realize that we are our men's mothers i make all of the household decisions and i pay 80 percent of everything you understand with my credit and with what i make and everything so you know if I had to wait on my husband to <laughs> to get me a temple, I wouldn't have one because he didn't see it as being necessary. Matter of fact, the hobby farm, he didn't even want it. I came out here to purchase the hobby farm. This is something that I wanted. He just came along. If I tell him tomorrow I want to buy a ship, you know, me, he'll, I put my name on the dotted line. He'll come put his name on there and put it on the dotted line too. And um, so... You know, this is how we work out. I make the decisions what we want, and we both sign for what we want together. But yet, I have the credit. You know, not really. I have the credit. So, I need to straighten that out. I find myself being audited and, and, and owing people an explanation for what I have. My thing is, you know, I cannot be bought. Do not send any no any type of donations whether it be Patreon, whether it be Cash App or PayPal, if you think you're going to dictate to me how to live my life. You know what I'm saying? What time to wake up, what time to go to sleep, what time to eat. You know, I've raised all of my children. Okay, my children are adults. So I don't have to get up at a certain time, which I don't owe nobody no explanation. What time I wake up, what time I go to bed, because I have earned the rights. You understand what I'm saying? If I want to sleep for the rest of my life, which I wouldn't even want to do that, you know, never wake up again. You know, this is my rights to do what I want in my household. Okay. So we need to get that straightened out. People, when they're grown and they don't have children, can wake up whenever they get ready. They want to wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning. You understand? They can do what they want. So, you know, I need to get this straightened out for you. You need to stay in your lane, okay? I'm old enough to be your mother. You need to get up very early in the morning so you can get babies up and get them to school. I get up when I want to, okay? The information you got from this person, understand? This person need receipts. They need receipts for whatever they have told you or any other individual receipts is what we want so i don't i don't really uh, uh get down too much on all of that because uh it's not a crime to wake up at noon if you've been up since seven o'clock to eight o'clock at night uh and the uh morning you understand on the phone with a vampire okay it's not like because I got up at noon. I'm a crackhead now. I got up at noon. I'm a meth head now. I got up at noon. I'm a prostitute. I got up at noon. I robbed a bank. I got up at noon. 
You understand? I murdered somebody. You know what I'm saying? When you think about it, you're silly. And I'm going to make more enemies than I've ever had. Boy, don't I got some enemies for, for teaching information for the last 12 years I've made. Don't get me wrong. It's a lot of people out there, lo- out there that love me. But I made quite a few enemies. Since I've been teaching information on social media. It's been very interesting. That I could give so much. And then have an individual complain about the lack of content on Patreon after I've given so much on my YouTube channel. Over two to three thousand videos of information that you have benefited from and you complain about the content on Patreon. I'm not going to be able to satisfy everybody. So, my take on it is, if you don't like the content here on YouTube, leave. If you don't like the content on Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, my website, Wix, I want you to go now. Go. Because the work I have now is far more greater than YouTube, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, or whatever other social media site there is. Go now. Because me being a trailblazer right now, doing something on uncharted ground is going to demand way more attention than any of my ventures on social media. A lot of people do not understand because they don't have as much work as I do. When you're doing all these social media pages and you have clients that come for work and you got products that you're constantly creating and making just for clients. Let alone I can't get anything on the website because the website uh, sell out so fast. And my clients have to do things for them too. And they're working and trying to, you know, build this Temple of Crossroads. We could say the physical building is there, but I have to also build the actual functions of this temple. And A lot of people out there that have come, that are to come, do not understand that I'm not going to be able to make all of you happy. So I'm going to make myself happy. (laughs) I'm going to make myself happy because... It's difficult for me to make myself happy, so you know I ain't interested in trying to make nobody else happy. I'm just going to make myself happy. So it's going to be some disappointed people. Um, Many people would not open their temple up to nobody. You got people who have temples and and they're not having a meet up. Okay, let's say all come together because they want to avoid what I went through.
sometimes people think that individuals as myself who hold power and authority absolutely are not people. Like we are like some type of, uh, it's just, so it's just, you're not human. You don't have any type of feelings, emotions, pain. It's as though you have nothing inside of your body. That you don't want or need anything. You are just here to make sure everyone is happy. In spite of the fact you may just not be. A lot of the times when you are an individual like myself, empathic, very loving, motherly voice. I get that all the time. You have such a soothing motherly voice. And sometimes I think people get the role mixed up with the fact that mothers are supposed to be they're supposed to love unconditionally unconditionally you know what i'm saying but they don't realize at the end of the day mothers are still people i can never have another meetup at the temple, because I was I was told by the person of, of the person who's helping me with the business that I should have no one ever meeting up off of YouTube in the temple ever again. Only board members to avoid what I've gone through, and it was said. That even though you're protected and they can't penetrate you to harm you, you still do not have to go through what you went through. What I went through, I went through a situation where all of everything had to go to someone else other than myself so there was no way to recoup what I had invested into the event what I mean about this if I promote people they're going to make some money I have the platform and I have the clout if I say oh wait mm -mm." Oh, past life regressions. I had a good time. Just me saying that is going to make an individual money. If I say, oh, they got the badass tarot readings. People want, people really listen to what I say in spite of the fact the world that don't like me try to paint this picture of me. That nobody likes me and they don't like me either. There are a lot of people who do like me and they take my recommendations very seriously. They really do. And I have a potential, whoever team up with me, I have a potential of making them some really, really good money. And the person that teamed up with me did make good money. Really did. And still making money off of the people that followed me. Because the people say, well, if she really likes them, I like them. This is why you got so many YouTubers that will not promote anyone else but themselves. If you look on social media... You will not find anybody in the spiritual community doing what I do. And that is, I will allow people on my panel uh, to speak. 
I will also allow people in my presence to come to Alabama, to my temple. Do you know how many people, how many content creators in the spiritual community would say this is a no-no? And so the fact that I have done things that other people wouldn't do, I have put myself in a very vulnerable situation. I put myself in a vulnerable situation allowing people that I did not know in my presence. Okay? And the fact that I am doing this Understand what I'm saying? I am going where no woman has gone before. And I am seeing how cutthroat, how ruthless people can be. And I get an idea of how celebrities feel. See, celebrities be like this right here. You ain't coming to my house. I'll do a concert for you. I sing all day long. But you ain't getting in no call with me. You ain't coming to my house. Because this is how the rumors get started. And started. And this is how the rumors get started. The rumors. The scandal. The, all of that that comes with that. Most of these YouTubers, they sing. They talk. And then after that, they cut the camera off. And you don't see them no more. I went the extra mile. And I didn't go the extra mile to collect no souls for no demons that have got me nothing. When I find out, I, I want you to explain to me what the demons have gotten me. Okay? The reason why they need a bunch of souls. You're going to have to show me what the demons have got me. So please don't say... Well, the demons got you a temple. That's ridiculous. Because anyone can purchase a foreclosure and call it a temple. That's just an average house. I make what I get look good. It don't make me look good. I make it look good because everything I touch turns to gold. That's the gift and the blessing, okay? It don't need a ton of souls. All of this about, I need a ton of souls to feed the demon or the demon is coming to get me. The demon is coming to get me because they gave me what? I'd like to know what I got. I I, I want to know what they got me. Superpowers? Are you admitting I have superpowers? Are you admitting I'm rich and wealthy? Tell me. I would, come on, talk to me. Tell me what I got. I'm no longer going to waste time on this. Because this temple is going to require far more than what I've given to YouTube. Now, I have gone through a lot in social media with some very angry individuals. They've created videos to show me in a in a uh, dehumanizing way because I have been myself, my very own self, just genuinely. Eccentric. And when you're white and you're eccentric, you don't get the kind of troubles you get when you're black and you're eccentric. 
When you're black and eccentric, your people look at you like something is wrong with you because you will not follow the program, the rules, the regulations that have been set aside for you since the cabin days. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, as if though the black people who say something is wrong with you are the house niggas that regulate what the field niggas supposed to do. In spite of the fact these so-called house niggas that's easily to be programmed to keep the church within them. The fact that these individuals hang around, they need to admonish you and punish you because you are unique. You are different. You are yourself. And you are helping and assisting other people to embrace themselves. But you know, it is, it's okay because you, I say out of a hundred, there are only two or three people like that. But those two or three people impact your thoughts. Even though you got a whole bunch of people, man, they, they protecting you. They're rooting you on, you know, whatever. And they're saying, keep going. We need you. We need you. We need you. You got these two or three overseers that are ruthless. That are constantly trying to find a way to attack you and attack your character. It's okay for them to go out and do crack meth, heroin, prostitution, pimping, um, just, just an array of criminal activity. And there is compassion for these individuals when they say, I no longer I'm in these streets. But for individuals like myself that have been in a position to give these same individuals a second chance, hey, I'm going to trust you. And I'm going to allow you around me and I'm going to help you get some money because I believe in you. People will be more critical of that individual that give these individuals a second chance than they would. That they're going to be more critical of you when you're in a position of helping. They're going to find more flaws. They're going to search for things that show you in a bad light. They're going to do that. But those individuals, it's like the norm to say, oh, wow, you kicked the habit. Oh, you're no longer on fentanyl. You're no longer abusing fentanyl. Okay, we're going to give you a gold medal. This is, this is what we get. We, we, we get people like us, the good Samaritans, we always get a bad rap. This is why people don't try to help anybody. I'm seeing that this is going to be a challenge because I can look at it all kinds of ways. But what it boils down to, once again, these individuals that drag your name in the mud because they can't pull any dirt up on you, so they got to drag you. These individuals. Can't handle rejection. 
And people out there get angry with the people that have to hand down rejection. Some people have a natural gift of making themselves look helpless when they are rejected. And a lot of people are angry with the people that have to hand down the rejection. I'm in a very powerful position. I want y'all to feel me. I'm in a position where I'm the type of person I hate to see people sad, let down. I hate to see people hurting. And this is probably why I put up with so much. You know, I have have had some folks to hang around me for a minute that I really didn't feel comfortable with and I sh- I wanted to give them the rejection for shoe the moment they rubbed me the wrong way. But it was hard for me to do so because me going through what I've gone through my life, especially in social media with people just really taking it to the street to uh, make uh, false rip-off reports and, you know, uh, go and create all of these crazy videos and stuff against me, you know what I'm saying, to vent and show their, uh, show the fact that they um, see me as an unpleasant person. It is, it may, it, it kind of makes it even more difficult to reject people because people tend to really go on the deep end with negativity with me when I turn them down or when I show that I'm proud to be the eccentric me. It's sort of like it's a tactic. It's like They make an example out of me to show other people, don't you try. Because this is what we're going to do to you, what we're doing to her. Now, once again, like I say, if I was white and I was doing these things that I do that are me, that are eccentric, I wouldn't have the problems I have. I mean, for some reason, it's like we're all expected as black people to have a beehive mentality, you know what I'm saying? And 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 we all do the same thing. We all have to do the same thing. Um The position I'm in, as I elect my board members, because this thing is bigger than YouTube and way outside of YouTube, uh, I I, 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 I am going to be in, in a situation where I'm going to have to be cold-blooded. And being cold-blooded is saying, uh, being blunt, cold-blooded, and to the point, is saying, or showing, that anything that makes me uh, feel uncomfortable, I'm going to Be straightforward, frank, and blunt in your face. Your services are not needed. 
are no longer needed. This is the new me. So if you all have been hearing a lot of buzz about Mother Wisdom Tree out in social media, it is because I've had to tell some people that they are not a good fit for the Temple of the Crossroads. Okay. When they found out that they were not, this is this has nothing to do with any jealousy, because I didn't get none of the readings uh, at the Temple of the Crossroads during the ancestor veneration. That is not true. These cuts were made because I was violated at my own temple conned out of the money that I did make for a reading. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I do, if I, if I, and it's been like this for a long time. I might, if I get a umbrella to go over my head because it's raining, pour it down. I've had to give the umbrella away and walk in the rain that's how i saw it when i did make a dollar doing a reading i had to give my dollar away i had to give free rides to the airport wash dishes cook don't get me wrong, I didn't mind washing dishes and cooking and doing all those things. I didn't mind. But I was made to feel as if though, not by everybody, there were some wonderful people that came, that I deserved nothing. Not even the little measly piece of change for a reading. I didn't deserve that. The individual that claimed... And I was jealous because they got all the readings. And you need to understand the only reason why you got those readings is because I backed up these past life regressions. Just like Oprah. I'm the Oprah of this part of the spiritual community. Because if I didn't have if I didn't do that, bring you on the venture, no one would have known about you. And your past life regressions. And I don't mind doing that for the people I like. So I think I owe it. To anyone that felt rejected. To give you some closure. Even though you may not understand why I had to do what I had to do. This ain't about being bitter because not only did I not make any of all of the monies from a three or four readings and then had to give the money that I made over to the individual. They wanted it all. It's not about that. It's about respect. You don't violate people. You don't come into people's presence and steal from them. Then walk away and wonder why I wigged out on you. Because you know why. You don't supposed to steal from the temple. But at the same time, too, the fact that you steal and I don't feel comfortable with you as you take my following and try to use them as puppets to come for me, which you can't because you're not going to get access to all of the people that are coming 
It's not possible. You'll have your moment to get whatever else you're supposed to get and then it will die off and you will go back to where you were prior to me oprifying you. Okay, so that, that's okay. That's okay. But I got to be comfortable. This is your closure for any of you all who felt uh, rejected. I, I, I have to be comfortable. So you all need to understand. And any of them who, any of you who felt rejected, you gotta understand. It's not mine. If I have to have people around me that don't make me comfortable, I am the founder. I am the founder. So I wanted to do this video because some people may may be like myself. You may not be used to rejecting people. Um, it's been hard. I mean, for one thing, the people who do um, befriend me in any kind of way, which I don't have any friends. I'm just going to be honest. Never have had any. Okay. It's been very difficult for them to share me with other people. I mean, everybody wants me to themselves. I mean, it's been a hard life, you know, having it where people, you know, really get angry because they only want me to be associated with them and not associated with any other individuals and they're willing to fight and scrap and fuss and you know and it could be dangerous for me to have so many obsessive people over me and a lot of folks may think it's funny and think it's a joke but I mean this has been my life this has been my life man I mean even with my husband it's like my husband's like that no one he don't want me to be friends with nobody just nobody and I've seen it also in social media and I've Try to get people together and, hey, you know, such and such and such, you'll be a great friend or a great associate or a great business partner. Let's talk to her. Let's all get together and talk to her. And then the, the people be jealous on the phone of, 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 of each other because nobody wants to share me. And it is time for me to find a way out of this. I'm 54 years old and I got to find a way out of people being so possessive of me. I mean, even the uh, person I had to add, uh, uh, really just cut off uh, is angry and didn't even want to share me with the other people who were trying to help me get the board together. And it's still bitter. Because they want to be in that position. And people who have given and they've given and uh, it did not work out and I I mean they violated me and rubbed me the wrong way insulted me talked behind my back did all kind of little thing and it's very resentful that I am not going to no longer have a relationship with them anymore. With the Temple of the Crossroads. It feels like this is no different than how women describe, oh, I went out on a date with this man. He bought me a $15 meal and expected sex. It's, they, they're similar. Oh, I donated her such and such and such and such. And she don't want to remain in a relationship with me. In spite of the person telling them, hey, look, I caught you stealing from me. So the gig is up. An individual don't want to come clean and say, I stole from you. But 
rather use puppets to comfort me. And those puppets will not be successful. I'm putting this out in the universe that those puppets will soon cease to exist. Anything coming up against me, my board members, my members, or the Temple of the Crossroads will cease to exist. I've already put that in the universe. It will be cut down to wither like weeds because there will be no weapon formed against me, my board members, my members, or the temple of the crossroads that will prosper. People out there, when you reject people, always give them closure and be honest with them. Because there are people who will reject you and not give an explanation and keep it moving. And I know we want explanations because we need a closure. I'm hoping this video is going to give closure. So I can go on to the next chapter. I'm ready to go. But for those who okay, and a lot of folks want to do this. For those uh, of you that wanted to you know participate and I could not allow you in there because I didn't feel comfortable with you for whatever reason. This is your time now. And you should be excited. You should be excited. This is your time to take those dreams that you had for the Temple of the Crossroads and create your own niche. We need it. I was just in the grocery store today and I mean the shelves were like empty and it, it, I don't know if it's stimulus or shortage I don't know which one it is but the shelves were empty I was like shocked I was like whoa you know and so that time is coming where we're going to need resources man we're going to need we, 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 we got a lot to work we got to replace what is being lost we are going to have to start from scratch rebuilding because all of this is falling apart. So this is your time. Those ideas you have for the Temple of the Crossroads, I'm encouraging you. All of you who felt rejected that they didn't get a chance to be on the board, I want you to start your very own mission to help rescue people that are hurting and in need. I would rather you fuel all of your energy into creating that rather than to waste it. Tearing people like myself, me and myself, who are trying to build. Okay? Don't waste your time on trying to tear us down. We're building right now. You need to build too. Okay? Let me build. I found the people that are they 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 they, they, they are aiming for what I'm aiming for. They let me make decisions. They don't try to say I'm making all the decisions. You make the decisions. And this is what I want. I want people who offer suggestions and allow me to make decisions. Not people who won't even even allow me in and they just, for unbeknownst to me, um, they began to do things that they haven't ran by me yet. I don't want to be in an environment like that. Okay? So, 
this is the video I wanted to make and um, you know I don't have the chat going and I pre-recorded it. it gives me some time to really uh, just really think about what I want to say without looking at the chat because I hate not to look at the chat because I like to acknowledge the people there and then check for trolls too because you know you got trolls you know the trolls come out when they think you're vulnerable and I'm not vulnerable right now I'm really in a high place right now. I'm in a high place. And that high place, I ain't gonna lie to you, sometimes I feel a little shaky because I'm like, I ain't never been here before. And I know it's a lot need to be done. And I ain't gonna get overwhelmed. Little by little, I'm gonna let the spirit show me what I supposed to do. So like somebody said I got a, a vacant property and it's not being used or anything like that. Trust me, it is not your problem. Okay? You worried about the wrong thing. That's my problem. You don't have to pay no taxes on it. You don't have to pay no bills on it. You ain't got to put a dime on it. That's that let that let me handle it, okay? Let me handle it. My spirit's got that. I say, why are you sitting down here being so concerned about the Temple of the Crossroads? You could be actually uh, constructing your own plans, you understand, to be in a position to teach, maybe feed house a refuge your own following see that's how come we miss the boat we're so busy looking out for other people's following until we neglect our own work on your following okay make sure they want for nothing okay let me take care of mine because my following is not yours I don't care how many times you've mentioned my names throughout the years. You can have them back. And all of them that wants to go back, they're welcome to come. You know, I don't I don't try to keep nobody here with me because do you know how many people have come and gone throughout the years? And more have come than have left. For everyone, some person that walk away. It's going to be a hundred taking that place. Because people really want to know what I got to say. I got like two million lifetime views. And it really should be more than that. Because um, YouTube had took 500,000 from me back in 2010. So I think I would be more than that really. So trust me. I really don't need your help. Trying to get no followers of anything you need mine. So now I'm not. I'm. I'm just saying this now, you know. But this is the kind of world we in. Folks are just like you know, telling you like it is, and I look like I'm gonna have to be like that too. I'm gonna have to start telling it like it is, cause you know you can't. I. I one thing I've learned, and my daughter taught me that. Don't wait till things fester. You let people know. Straight off the bat, just go ahead on and swat the fly. Don't let the fly fly around till you done lay the eggs and, and lava all over your house. Go and swat it then, and that's where I'm at not right now. I'm going to start swatting flies immediately. Okay? And I'm recommending that you all do the same. And this ends this video. Please make sure you rate and subscribe. Look down there in the description box and uh, go to my website. Fill out the uh, contact form so that when um, content comes out, it'll be in your email. Okay? Don't forget, we're coming together for Jubilee, March 5th and the 7th of 2021. Bye-bye.